Hey, it's Richard here with Platinum Ponds and Lake Management, PlatinumLakes.com. And we're here at a pond today and I wanted to show you exactly what a cypress tree looks like and how do you keep these cypress trees alive. A lot of us want a cypress tree that's planted next to our ponds. We have beautiful knees that come up from the bottom of the ponds. And I'll show you this knee coming up here. They actually use these knees in the water to breathe. And so because it is a swamp tree, it needs oxygen. And so it sends up these knees all around the base of the trunk and allows them to breathe. And of course, these are very, very popular in the south, south uh, of the United States, such as in Louisiana, where we are here today. And I wanted to show you how we keep these alive. Well, one of the one of the tastiest things in a pond for a beaver, and you can see these little ruts that beavers make as they come in and out of the pond, is the bark. And so willows and cypress would be a premier plant. And here we have a cage just made out of regular fencing that goes around the base of the plant. And this actually will provide some protection to keep the beaver back and away. And we've seen beavers stand up over three to four feet tall and start gnawing at the top of stumps. Um, typically, you know, we'll put these types of cages around it. This, uh, when this tree turned, I would say it's about 10 to 12 inches across the base of this tree. But on this side, you'll actually see a smaller tree where this is kind of where we start our saplings off at. And uh, this is just used with regular uh, six inch corrugated pipe, um, not the four inch, but the actual six inch corrugated pipe. And then we just simply just put a little slit in the edge here so that it's slid apart. And then uh, we basically slide it around the tree. And as the seedling starts to uh, pop up, you have a protected base from beaver. And uh, that stands about three and a half feet tall. Uh, off the bottom of this pond and we have a beautiful pond here with a little wharf area that comes out this is actually a stocking pond that we use to uh, grow fish in prior to putting them in the large pond of course that's important because we don't want our fingerlings to get eaten by the larger fish such as bass and such so look us up on the web at platinumlinks.com follow us on the blog there under our news channel and love to hear from you give us a tweet or shout out to us in the comment section